topic. Um, do y'all think uh, something that's trending right now? I saw it on the Breakfast Club. Um, people should go through like their whole phase. Yes, I agree. Agreed. I agree too. <laughs> yeah. As someone who did it, I could tell you it's one of the best things you could do for yourself. You know, I mean, be Is safe. It, you're doing it now or what? No, oh, no. Oh, you never went through You say you never went through it? No, I, I did. So when? When, when I was separated. In, in California? No, here, when I got separated from my husband. In Austin? What? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. I hoed around for a, a little bit. Mm-hmm. I think it's I think it's normal. But it was fun. I mean, yeah. like I slept with like some like really interesting people. Like, and then like I went experiences. on experiences. Yeah, you know, it's, <laughs> like, I still yeah. keep in touch with some of them. Like on you know, like just shooting this, sh- whatever you know, mm-hmm. chit chatting, um, chit chatting. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, one was this like twenty six year old like hippie kind of burnout that like looked exactly like Adam Driver. So he was like seven, talk about height. He was like seven feet tall and had the biggest like, D thing. I've ever <laughs> seen. No, I'm talking like I had to prepare myself. Like Been it was, there. it was like, There's a such thing as it was big. this big. It was the biggest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So like that was a new experience. Um, a French chef, like he was on like top chef, like France or whatever, Lit. had a very interesting experience with him. Um, what were some other good ones? I mean, that's a whole nother episode, I guess. Let's not get into it. But yes, I think people do need their whole thing. Did you phases. go through it, yeah. TJ? Yeah, I said, yeah, when, I did. Uh, when, like before your boyfriend now? Or Obviously. You, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, don't know, I don't know if y'all had a break or, you no, know what I'm saying? No, we have saying? not had a break. We've been together since the end of 2020. Um, why do you think people, and why did you go through a whole phase? So, um, also, just knowing my partner, both of us went through our whole phases, which is greater to understand when you are in a relationship because the one is just the experience. You don't have to be wondering, oh, I mean, what if I do this? I missed out on that, blah, blah, blah. Go and do it when you had it. And also, once the quicker you get it out the way, the quicker you get to this point. <laughs> So no, it is true though. Like once I yeah. once I got it out of my system, I did wind up meeting my boyfriend. And you see, it just like and he actually room. he had his hoe phase like when I was having mine. So it actually I do agree with that. It does almost kind of matter that we like have explored things and like now we can do mm-hmm. those things together because there's no like fear of them or like worried about yeah. what the other person's gonna think because like we both know that we've done some like crazy uh, have you gone so. through a whole phase no yeah. he hasn't yeah ah! my mind was in high school i did it at the right time i did mine's in high school i did it after high like school. two years in college so uh-huh. that's, a per- that's a perfect time to go through your whole phase I can't. I, I can't picture him going through a whole phase. Oh, uh, I, I feel like you're me, just like too nice. You're like Mr. Nice Guy. Like, no, nah, I'm just different now because like, running be this like, business nah. is, is has changed me. But you have matured. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. matured. Trust me. You know, I mean, when we first started, I was still in. <laughs> so I, I was, you know, you, knocking off you girls who phase, worked here and all that. Wait a so. minute. When you were in your hoe phase, would you have slept with me? <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! How you gonna put me on spot like that? I'm part owner in this company. Come on! I don't even think I can answer that. That could come back. I could. I can. <laughs> could come back. You got that is such a cop out, and that's also no. A it's no. not a, co- a no. It's, a no. it's not. It's I, no. Oh my God! You and Chris J. Jack in or whatever. <laughs> Do not put Jack, me. All Chris I've dated Jack was Jackass. white girls. You guys. Can I'm go the hang opposite. Out all I date. I'm not saying all I date is white girls, but that's m- mostly what I've dated. So I'm actually the opposite, but I can't say that. You know what I'm saying? That's going to mm-hmm. come back to hurt me. Okay. Dang. Okay. Well, I was going to ask you something else, but never mind. Ask me that when the cameras <laughs> is not rolling. <laughs> okay. Now we okay. have so many secret some, questions I know. I'm now. Like, let's ask D. Let's put D on the, on the yes. chopping block. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I love it. But if you are going through your whole phase, do it. Don't God feel bless. pressure. And you have it. your whole life to Just get with someone. Just be safe. You don't want to get no blah, blah. Have what? safe sex. You know, also no, don't do the one night stand thing. You don't be having babies At least either. know wh- where they've been. What about the girls who are stuck in their whole phase? Because I know a lot of girls who are like that. Stuck for how long? Permanently, because they get with a guy and they act like, oh, yeah, this is the guy. And then, you know, it's another guy. It's like they're stuck in that, in that phase. I think it's more girls who are kind of on the bottom. What does bottom mean? Yeah, what do you mean? The saying got to probably all got together like strippers. And not saying I'm trying to judge strippers, but in the nightlife type of girls. 
Um, so you you mean more of girls that are more in that type of industry? Because I know a lot of girls who stuck in this phase, and I see them on Instagram and their story crying about you know how they all want this and want that, but they're still you know. What's hard to get? It's hard to get out of your ways when you've been stuck in it for so long, or if you don't view it from the beginning. I think as like, hey, this is I'm just going through this experience. I think that like also maybe unfortunately them being in the profession that they're in probably like get judged by more men mm-hmm. that don't want to don't think that they could have a relationship with them because of their profession. Unfortunately, I don't agree with that, but I think yeah. that that's probably an issue too. Actually, one of the guys I just had lunch with yesterday, a part of that like group was saying that him and his girlfriend just broke up because she hadn't been forthcoming about the fact that she was a sex worker and he's like I draw the line there I don't want to date anybody that's I've a heard sex worker. so many stories like that the so guys it's are like, like I found out she's a stripper I found yeah. out she has only fans and they're like nah so un- you know unfortunately for them they're gonna have to climb that that battle of it happened to me you got duped? Your OnlyFans I get, account? Someone no, got no, mad no, no. you got your OnlyFans account? No I was dating a <laughs> girl for a while and then she told me like she was a dancer like probably you know a month in or something you and you know? did you, and you weren't down with that no i stayed with her okay so see it can go both ways but i was you know i already had failed for her i was you know almost in love so it was, it was yeah you know what i mean yeah i was invested yeah yeah so if she had told you from the jump you probably wouldn't have stayed i don't know see yeah See, so they are fighting it's, an uphill battle. Yeah. Uh, it's and it's also, the, it's, it's a hard dating world, too. It is. But you I know what? My ex-husband hard. did not like, and I hadn't been doing anything close to what I'm doing now, but he did not like a lot of things I post on Instagram. And I'm talking like it, today. Yeah, I saw nothing. one of those pictures. What do you mean it's nothing? I saw one of those pictures. <laughs> what do we mean? I mean, it, it's for that. that's like a lot for. What do you mean a lot? I literally not, see not, there's girls, nothing wrong with it, I but if I was like, you in know, like happy baby position with like a little flower emoji on their hoo ha. No, nah, she well. was naked. You was naked in that picture. But she did. Which picture? But you, I mean, you couldn't see your. It was, was the one with you. Can't be naked on Instagram. Silhouette. Yeah. Well, no, it was your body. You was like. It's the one you posted yesterday, I think, or the day before. Yeah, you was um on your knees in the bed. So what? you do you do like the play? Get your, your butt out, you know. Oh, oh. Showing I, major side boob. That's like. Okay, I took that one down. Why'd you take it down? Because I was wasted when I posted it, and um, if anything, I'm gonna post it on my Playboy profile and make money off it. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, <laughs> you were doing it. For I'm her. like, yeah. I was like, wait a minute. Well, that's, dumbass. that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I posted on the wrong platform. My <laughs> drunk <Oops>. ass, like, <laughs> take that down. Yeah, but let's so let's talk about the guys who are stuck in their hoe phases and then they end up that, being that's like every guy. That's like every guy forever. That's, right. No, I feel like it's, I feel like yes, it's it more is. of a guy. Every thing. guy cheats. I'm telling you right now, no, I hate to, I hate no, to shatter no. everyone's little Have fairy tales. Have you ever cheated before? Yes, I have. You exactly. See? Uh, no, At least exactly. doing it. You are talking to me every guy cheats in every well, relationship there's not a, there's or no other guy in the room for us to ask. I'm, I'm saying, are you saying every guy cheats in every relationship or no, has, has cheated? Yeah. Has cheated. Yes. I think everybody has cheated. I think. Yeah. I, th- I think. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think almost everybody, but I'd say definitely all men. No, I, it's everybody. I think men, has. men probably have a greater frequency of cheating. Like cheating probably. more than like yeah. once or twice. You know, like. Yeah. I see with women, the percentage being higher of like, oops, like one time. I'm saying going all the way. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, but it like is way not worse like, for not like women a drunken to cheat. kiss or something. But I yes, know. I do think we get greater heat for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. I think we I get know. more this heat is... for everything. Like, yeah, period. basically. So, basically, it's like it's okay for a guy to have like a like five girlfriends and sleep with them all and make them dress them. But if a girl did that, oh my gosh, that is too much. That is not acceptable. Like, Especially okay. if it like it was like a lesbian relationship or something like that that would not be they'd be like no nah, this is too much too much way too much can you like god forbid <laughs> god forbid right god god forbid we get our pussy on <laughs> what's good y'all it's tj the dj and this is jet hey man thanks for checking out this clip make sure you hit that like comment subscribe and we'll see you next time What's good, y'all? It's TJ the DJ. And this is Jet. Hey, man. Thanks for checking out this clip. 
Make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.